What up, y'all? Uh, got a new package today, and it is a new helmet and a new comp system. Um, I saw the new uh, Scorpion XO XT9000, I believe is the full name. Um, their new carbon lid, and uh, it looked great. It had a great price point. I think it comes with some sweet features, and I bought it. Uh, got it from Revzilla. Shout out Rosilla. And uh, I have a big dome. I wear an extra large. And so I uh, unfortunately was too late to get one in the matte black. Um, didn't really want the shiny black, so I got a white one instead, which I think will be fine. I have white helmets. I like the looks of them. They match my bikes. It'll be good. So. that. I also picked up a Talk Neo. Um, I'll do a different video about that. But here's our box. Nice shiny. Let's uh, readjust the camera and dig in. If I can get the box out of the way. There we go. Okay, true unboxing style. You're going to see me open everything. Warning, no helmet can protect from all falls. All right. One of the things that I'm pumped about for this helmet is it comes with uh, two face shields. So it comes with a second face shield. Um, this is the dark smoke one. And then it comes with a clear one installed. Both, from what I hear, are pin lock ready, which is cool. Let's see what we got in here. I got the helmet piece of foam Yeet. and then stuck down here we have our pin lock insert it does only come with one but I hear it's a pretty easy one to get your hands on and then some desk kit. and that's the box okay cool all right onto the helmet itself um, pretty nice bag get stung Okay, never heard that tagline from Scorpion before, but I will say this is my first Scorpion helmet. Let's get in here. And I know some of you are screaming at me right now. I don't have a donut. Ooh, actually, you know what I do have? Hold on. All right, I may not have a helmet donut, but I have my dog's <laughs> inflatable, like, dog collar donut. So we're gonna use that. I'm sure it's gonna work just fine. All right, this is a good feeling bag, which sounds weird to be excited about a bag, but um, like it's actually padded a little bit and has a nice liner on it. That's kind of nice to see. Okay. That's not what we care about though. We care about the helmet. All right, first glance, colored visor included. Great, typical stickers on the front. We'll weigh these in a second, see what it actually weighs. Doesn't feel super light, but standard D-ring closure. It's kind of nice to have that extra little flag on there. Help you separate them. Let's see, we have extra hardware, and then they include an action cam mount, which is kind of funny now that I look at it. I figured it'd be like a standard GoPro mount or whatever. It's just a flat plate. So you still have to stick whatever mount onto it. That's a little funny. Looking inside. One of the things I really liked about this was the emergency release straps. I don't particularly want to pull them, um, but that's a nice feature to have. A little bit of a hard base back here. Chin curtain is included. What's that do? Oh, pressure relief. Really, okay. Finding out all sorts of things. I did very little research on this. This was a little bit of an impulse buy. We have a removable peak with some thumb screws. The visor itself, they say, is tool free. I don't know that I particularly believe that. Ugh, I mean, I guess you could, but it's like a little 
cross feature on it rather than a tooled. There is a Phillips there too. Vent wise, we got two in the front, duct coming out the back, and these are pretty big coming out the back here. That's nice to see. Uh, DOT ECE 22.06. That says 1700 grams plus or minus 50 grams. There is a little, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, it's picking up pretty well. That's reflective, really nice reflection, but I don't know in that position how easy it'll be to see that reflective material. So that's interesting. Okay, removable liner. Liner inside looks nice. Inside, looks like the adjustment for this vent up front is inside the helmet. So there's a little slider down here to slide up and down to shut it off or to set it into, I believe they call it defrost mode. Interesting. Okay. Cool. Well, I'm gonna grab a scale and one of the nice things about this was supposed to be that it's very light and I'm curious to see what this is versus what my AX9 is. Okay, scale's out. Let's see. Probably gonna have to set this on its head. Tag said 1700 grams plus or minus 50. We are at 1740. So plus 40. And then for comparison, I have my AX9, which in fairness does have a Cena attached and it is 1738. These are almost exactly the same weight. That's kind of wild. This does have the uh, chin curtain and the breath deflector installed on it, but this has a comm unit on it. Interesting. So, light but not super light. Cool. Let's uh, try it on. My wife just walked in and noticed the dog donut and had questions. Not as amused as I was. <laughs> okay, let's get this on. One thing I liked about the AX9 was a very snug fit. Oh yeah. This is going to be snug too. I do wear glasses. I have no idea if you can hear me anymore. So sorry if you can't. But I do wear glasses so fits can be a little weird. This does feel like it has... Doesn't necessarily have channels but it has room for glasses which is great. These D-rings are really high up, so I'm reaching up more than I would with my AX9. That's all right. Keeps everything out of the way. So there it is on. Um, they do only have, I think, three sh shell sizes, so this is an extra large, which means that uh, it's the biggest one they have. Okay, one of the things that's weird on this I'm trying to see if I can feel a difference being made. They have a little like air inflation bladder. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear this or not, but. It's like those, uh, ten, ten, hey, Raleigh. It's like those tennis shoes with the pumps on the tongues. It's supposed to be so you can dial in your fit. Oh, that makes a difference. I just pressed the relief valve and could feel it sucking away from my cheeks a bit. <laughs> Wild. Technology, man. All right, other random thoughts I'm having while I'm looking at this. Does appear to be a nice flat spot right here for mounting um, Bluetooth, which is great. Uh, both helmets are pin lock ready. These vents right here uh, I don't know how well you can see that with the light, but there's intakes at the top there. And I think that will be really nice for venting out the liner. Chin curtain looks removable. Here's that little pump I was just talking about. You just pump it up and then there's your release. So that's goofy, but kind of awesome. Really awesome actually. So, all right, last thing, let's get this, uh, Spare visor open. I really like that they included a nice bag for it. Like, that's a big issue of what do you do with your other visors when you're not wearing them. 
And again, really happy that it included two visors. Not a lot of helmets do that. All right, yep, that is a dark smoke visor. So there you have it. That's my unboxing. I'm not even in the camera. That's the unboxing. Oh my God, I need a haircut so bad. Okay, just got back from a quick ride and I guess uh, this is turning into more of a quick review than an unboxing and that's okay. Um, some things I mentioned earlier that I will probably cut out because they're incorrect but want to correct now. This is actually a tool free change. They weren't lying. You don't have to undo these little clips. What you're supposed to do is undo the top peak which is a, kind of a cool little quarter turn and then it just lifts out of the way. You then just like rip this off. It that mechanism feels awful and I will be intrigued to see how many lens changes I get out of this before there's like these little u-shaped tabs well, let's do it it feels awful I'm not doing it I don't like it I don't like it at all it feels like I'm gonna break it um, but anyways that's lens changes it is tool free I was wrong earlier uh, the peak I don't mind it's not really adjustable it is surprisingly drag free on straight on you're looking head on at highway speeds i had it up to about 80 and it did not pull my head back which i'm pretty happy about um where it does catch the wind is if you're turning your head sideways it will catch you a little bit going sideways so that's less than fun but manageable and i mean it's a giant peak so who knows didn't try it with the peak off which is fine. Um, one thing I do like now, there are two very wide tabs here, one on either side, which is nice. My AX9 only has one on the one side and sometimes I'm reaching across myself at stoplights or something like that if I have the clutch in. Um, but that's a nice little thing. The vision is super wide. It does feel like it goes maybe 10 or 15 degrees more than the AX9. Uh, this breath defector deflector keeps falling out I grab it by the chin bar and half the time I'm like knocking it around so we'll see how long that stays in before it annoys me to the point where I just rip it off noise is pretty good um, I do get sounds weird to localize noise a little bit but I get a lot of noise from up under my ears or up under my neck. I don't get a lot from the front of the helmet. A lot of it just feels like it's coming from up underneath. So I will be intrigued how better that noise is if I'm wearing a well-fitting jacket instead of a sweatshirt. So um, those are my initial thoughts. The dark smoke is nice. I'd say it's maybe like a 30% transmission, something like that. It's kind of dusk here and I didn't feel like it was too dark. Um, yeah, the putting the helmet on and off was actually really, really nice compared to my AX9. I feel like the AX9 is almost, you're yanking it on a bit. It fits well, but you're yanking it on a bit where this one, like the padding is compressing quite a bit. And that's where I think this um, air fit comes into play is because you can loosen it, put it on, pump it up and be good to go. They say that you should release the air before you take it off. It wasn't super necessary. I tried taking it off with that on, or with the air still in there and it was fine. Okay, those are my thoughts, I think. If you're here just for the helmet review, thanks. Appreciate the view. Uh, if you're interested in like Groms or every once in a while I do some F800 stuff, maybe hit my other videos or hit subscribe or something like that. But if not, good seeing you and thanks. This was my quick unboxing, first impressions, and that. Bye.